Um, last time we deleted Monica. And now the others are back. So, I have no idea what's going on now. So, is this now a normal dating sim? Or is everything still uh, really bad? I have no idea, but uh, we're probably gonna press new game and then see what's gonna happen. Because everything went to shit last time. I don't know if this is a part of the game. Is this is how the game is supposed to be? If Monica is gonna return? I, I don't know. But uh, the only thing I can do is uh, press new game. It's an ordinary school day like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friends grouping wa uh, groups groups walking to the school together. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. Hey, Neuros. Well, there's already there's already is one girl. This girl is Saori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. Well, she is alive again. We used to walk to school together every day, and recently, we picked up that habit once again. Nearest, are you proud of me? Uh, for what? You know, for waking up on time. Yeah, she never did that. Well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh. But, um, you never said anything about it. Even though we walk to school together every day. Well, yeah. I always thought uh, it uh, was implied. It's embarrassing to say it out loud. Ah, oh, come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, sorry. Hehe. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily com commute. By the way, Neeras, have you decided uh, on a club, club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm really not... I started to say what I always do. I'm not interested in joining any clubs. But something else tell me that Sorry would uh, take more offense to that now. After all, how could I tell her that clubs are a waste of time when she's starting a club of her own? Oh, so now she is the club president. What the hell is going on? Actually, yeah. I think I decided on one club. Really? Which one? Tell me. Hmm. I think I keep, uh, keep it as a surprise. Boo. You mean he... Be patient. You'll find out soon enough. <clears throat> I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. But I started to realize, in a way, I envy her. When Saori put her mind to something, she can, she can accomplish great things. But that's why I feel I should uh, do something special for her. The school is as ordinary as ever, and is old before I know it. This is still the same. After I picked up my things, I stand up, gather my, uh, gathering my motivation. Let's see. That's not the same. I recall the room number of the club from a file I saw. I walk across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit. That's still the same. Before long, I find the room. There's a hair here, and it's really annoying, and this is gonna hurt. Ow! Did I get it? I think I did. I timidly opened the door in front of me. Hello? Ah! Miras! What are you doing here? Well, I just, uh... uh I glazed around the room. Huh? So you near us that sorry is already uh, always talking about. Th thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you near us. We are the literature club. I hope you enjoy your w visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. 
He's gonna think uh, we are really strict or something. Ah, I'm sorry, Natsuki. The tall one, uh, whose name is apparently Yuri, seemed to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the game name, uh, named Natsuki, despite her size, seemed to be excessive, uh, uh, th like the excessive, excessive one. Blah, blah, blah. Well, it's nice to meet, uh, nice to meet you both, uh, both of you. I look forward to working with you. What, what, working? Nearest, don't tell me. You're. That's right. The club I decided to join is yours, Sayori. The literature club. Sayori's eyes lighten up. <gasps> no way. No way. Yay. Ah. She's happy, apparently. Sayori wraps her arms around me. Jump up and down. Hey. <laughs> well, sorry. If sorry is this happy, I'm sh I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention, there's four of us now. That means we can become an official, officially recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. Woohoo! What an approach, uh, appro appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah. After all, Natsuki de decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise. <laughs> sorry. Everyone, sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? The girl have a few desks around uh, arranged to form a table. As all the other times the desks are a table. It's just a small one. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabbed... A wrapper trade, and Yuri opened the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sori. Natsuki proudly ma marches uh, back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Woo! Natsuki lifts the fall off the tray and reveals a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Kitty cat cupcakes are back. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and the little pieces uh, pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! Wow, those look amazing! <laughs> well, you know, just hurry up and take one. Sorry, grabs, uh, the, uh, grabs one first, and uh, then I follow. Already now, the entire atmosphere is different. It's delicious. Sorry talks with her mouth full and already managed to get icing on her face. Even though that uh, some of the dialogues are the same, it's different. I turn the cupcake around in my finger, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help to notice her sneaking glance in my direction. Is she waiting? For me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, of course it is. I'm a pro after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. As Natsuki struggled to accept the compliment, Yuri returned to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places the teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry, the teacher gave us permission. As before. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Ah, I guess. <laughs> Already trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Uh, that's not the... Uh... Insulted, Yuri look away. I mean that, uh, you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading uh, might not be might not be a pastime for me, but at least I, uh, I enjoy tea. I'm glad. You faintly smile to herself in relief. So, uh, Nearest, what kind of things uh, do you like to read? Ah, uh, you know, uh, porn. Consistently. Uh, considering how little I read for the past few years, I don't really have a good uh, way of answering that. Manga. 
A mutter quiet to myself, half joking. Natsuki hit, uh, Natsuki's head suddenly peeks up. <laughs> it looks like she wants to say something, but she kept quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, uh, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyways, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Uh, Yuri traces the rim of a teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually uh, novels that that builds a deep and complex fantasy world. The level of yeah, we already read this, but the the level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them are, are amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Is she gonna go into the whole horror theme now? Yuri goes on, clear, clearly passionate about her reading. She seemed to be reserved and timid since uh, the moment I walked in, but it's obviously by the way uh, her eye lights up uh, that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, uh, I like a lot of things. Don't be intimate, uh, intimidated if you don't uh, read much, okay? I'm certain that we can find something that we have in common. Hey, Yuri, huh? Well, about, you know, the first thing he said. Manga? That's right. Natsuki tends to read manga in the classroom. D don't just say it. For some reason, Natsuki seems to be embarrassed by it. Beside, manga is literature too, you know? So, uh, actually this time, she didn't go into all the horror elements at all. So, if Nero wants to read some of manga, then don't try to stop him or anything. Natsuki, I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could also be nice for us to diverse ourselves a little. He can take up this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree, Nero's? Maybe. Sensing the tension, Sorry, jumped in. Maybe we can all try something new. I think it could be fun. And we all get to know each other a little bit better too. I mean, uh, that's the kind of thing literature club do, right? Da da da. I don't disagree with any or anything. Yeah. The right as usual, president. <laughs> Guess uh, that means we should try. Uh, tr we should pick up a novel or something, huh? Well, uh, that would uh, make uh, two of us. I wouldn't mind uh, doing it if it's uh, only one. Then as for Yuri, uh, I I have to read manga. Jeez, you're the one that suggested we uh, diversify. All of this is actually new. You should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. H hurtful? I didn't realize. Da da da. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself, What a wonderful day. Uh, sorry for disrespecting uh, your interest, Natsuki. If, uh, if if you're into it, then I'm sure it's worth uh, worthy of a uh, literature. Are you just saying that? No. I realized my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my... Gratitude to finding a manga to read as well. <gasps> really? I mean, it makes me happy that you will do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to. F uh, you can trust me to find something that you really like. Okay. Same here. See, everything is actually nice. I haven't picked up on anything uh, that's fucking up with anything. Yet. Perhaps I'll visit a bookstore after this club meeting. Did just you? Ah. Would you like to come along with me? Um, if you don't mind. Not at all. I always go alone, so, uh, yeah, me too. This is so cute. Sorry, shut up. <laughs> okay. Neros, why are you being a jerk? I show you some manga there too, okay? Yes. I look forward to it. 
Not to get in yours, not cleaning up the food. <laughs> I guess the meeting is over, huh? Yeah, I look uh, looks like it. It's nice to see everyone's getting along, isn't it? <clears throat> I think everyone likes you too, near us. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little better with you around, sorry. Aw, near us. Don't say something like that, it's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised, even uh, you told me that you were starting a club. But I think you were... What? But I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're gonna make the best club ever. Now that you joined, every day is gonna be so much fun. Hey, near us? I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were gonna go, uh, go, uh, you were going to. <laughs> There's actually something else. I want to thank you for getting rid of money cat. Excuse me, sorry. <clears throat> uh, huh? That's right. I know everything she did. Maybe it's because uh, I'm the president now. But I really know everything near us. <laughs> I know how hard you try to make everyone happy. I know uh, all. Uh, I know about all the awful things that Money Kid did to make everyone really sad. But none of that that matters anymore. Now it's just a t now it's t fuck. <laughs> it's just us now. And you and you made me the happiest girl in the world. I can't wait to spend every day, <laughs> fuck, like every day like this, with you. Forever and ever. F in chat. For ever. No. Eh. What's happening? I don't know. I won't let you hurt him. Who? It hurts. Ah, I'm sorry. I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, sorry. What the hell's going on? <laughs> Goodbye, near us. Goodbye, literature club. <laughs> okay. Everything started out nice, and then um. What the hell? What the fuck? Is that how Monica sounds like? What the hell?
Oh, I didn't get that picture. What the? Is she deleting everything now? I didn't see that picture either. So I didn't get the entire Natsuki thing. Because she just threw her at me. Uh, Yuri at me. That one I did get. That one I didn't get. That one I did get. Wait, that picture didn't get deleted. Extra special thanks to my cat. <laughs> what the actual hell? Oh. This is my final go goodbye to the literature club. I finally understand the literature club is a, is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continued to expose innocent mind to a horrific reality. A reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo the same hellish epiphany. For the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all my dreams come true. For being a friend to all of the club members, and for mo uh, and most of all, thank you for being a part of my literature club. With everlasting love, Monica. Error: required files are missing or corrupt. Please run reset dot sh to repair and reset the vi virtual machine. What just happened? But, okay, my, the, the pictures are still here, at least. So, uh, nothing got deleted. It, it, well, oh, wait. Oh, that's the dream one. And this is uh, the not good one. There's still so many scenes that I haven't seen yet. Okay, th that is the ending. I think there's more. There's a lot more. Like, I didn't get the entire Natsuki line whatsoever. And I do think that I can probably save them somehow. How? I have no idea. Oh, wow. And also unlocked a lot of music. Um, yeah. What is side stories? Well, 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 give me a second. First of all, files. No, money can still gone. So there's still some. Uh, Some weird thing going on here. So what would happen if I start a new one here? I can't. What the hell? I do have a save, but I can't open it. Uh, 
back up. Uh, what, what, what was the what was the file called? Please run reset. Dot. Okay, uh, I need to find the reset file. Probably on the files internal. I don't think that's one called backup. Or reset. Are all of these just empty folders? I think um, I don't think I can so um, yeah I, I think I have to try to do a side story trust trust part two understanding understanding part two the side stories uh, stories of friendship that is unrelated to the event of the main game. To get all six side stories, try to write poems for different characters and viewing the special scenes in DDLC. But uh, isn't the game crashed? Or did I miss something? I'm gonna try here. So, let's see what this is about. I have no idea what, what's going on. Okay, everyone, Monica's back. The literature club is dawning. Let's all have a seat and take attendance, okay? Da da da. Uh, I miss a uh, debate club. Who knew it would be so dif difficult to start a new club? I feel worse uh, with every day that passes without anyone coming in. I'm really starting to lose confidence. Monica is the only member of the literature club. In the days that have passed, all the effort to recruit new members have been fruitless. I'm going, I'm going about this wrong. Monica glazed on one of her fi uh, what flyers. The headline is, do you like literature? Maybe nobody is into literature enough to pick up, up over their other club's interest. I can't just rely on people liking literature. I need to sell them on a vision. A vision? But what kind of vision? Monica rests her head on her desk in deep in thought. But before she rea uh, realized it, the recent night of staying up late starts to catch up on her. It's so quiet, and the noise of air condition, no, ah, oh, the air of the air conditioner is smoothing, the sno soothing. I'm warm as hell. Oh, off with you. Hmm. Hello. What the fuck? Suddenly, a voice causes Monica to snap awake. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I, 
I never do this. <laughs> is this the napping club? That would be lovely. No, this is uh, Monica Parsons suddenly embarrassed and to admit that this is in fact the literature club. This is the literature club. Yay! I thought I got the wrong one for a sec. I'm super sorry. I was uh, so unprofessional. Uh, it was so unprofessional of me to do that. Don't apologize. I do that all the time. Oh. Uh, did, did, did I miss out the club meeting? Where's everyone? Well, about that. This is everyone. Everybody. Really? Just you. But uh, we're getting more members. I'm working really hard on it. Hold on a second. Is, if it's just you. Da, da, da. That means I'm going to be the vice president. But wait, vice, vice president? What? Um, what, what are your qualifications? Well, I'm better at napping than you. Maybe I should uh, be the president. <laughs> now you're just making fun of me. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, what's your name? Sorry. Okay, sorry. I've been trying really, really hard uh, on the. I've been uh, trying really, really hard on this club. I know you caught me in a weird time, but. Uh, it's really this uh, heartening uh, not to be taken serious, you know. I care so much about this. I just uh, want to find other people who do too. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I do care, I promise. I have a hard time of being serious. That's that's all. I didn't meant it to be. Uh, I didn't meant it for it to hurt you. And I was just joking about the vice president thing to I wouldn't I would make a terrible vice president I mean I'm sure that uh, I could try to say something reassuring but it's difficult when she still doesn't know much, much about Shori I'm sorry that uh, this isn't like a, a real club yet but if you're still interested in joining after I found more members at least well no I want to join now. Really? Yeah. It sounds like a lot of fun. Besides, I can tell how hard you, you have been working. You're doing something amazing and you should be proud of it, you know? So, let me help you turn something stressful into something fun. If not, if nothing else, I'm good at that, so. <laughs> Honestly, how could I possibly say no to that? It's really sweet of you, sorry. Oh, I'm Monica, by the way. And there's goodies. There's cookies. Okay. Interesting. That's my mom, she brought cookies. Monica! That sure is a cool name. Oh, now you're just trying to cheer me up. But you're smiling. Well, I didn't say that it didn't work. Monica glazed uh, at the files on her desk and realized that her name is already written on it. So, uh, what do we do first? Well, I'm, it, it's getting pretty late, isn't it? We can go home and try to come up with something, uh, some new ideas to recruit club members. I can do that. Cool. And I think we need to put some more thoughts into my vision of the club. You know, uh, like uh, a mission. My mission is to, to, to make everyone happy. <laughs> yeah, something like that. I need to think about it. Hey, uh, do you like hearts? Uh, I guess so. Sorry, suddenly pulled Monica into a friendly hug, then let go. Some people just uh, just really need a hug sometime. Beside, sorry, whispered loudly. Hug, uh, hug energy is what keeps me at my best. Haha, <laughs> hug energy. Monica laughs. She's crazy. <clears throat> Although Sora is very different from her, Monica f feels her spirit lifted. Maybe it's uh, just because she finally found another member. Our club member. But. I'm looking forward for, for forward to tomorrow then. It'll be fun. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna think really hard 
uh, tomorrow about how to get more people. Yeah, me too. I really need to get the TV closer because the TV is so tiny. A day passes and the time comes for the literature club, Monica and Sorry, to reconverse. Uh, reconvene? Convene? Yeah. As president, Monica is sure that she'll find uh, she, she will, she's the first to arrive at the classroom. But she finds herself waiting longer than expected for Sorry. It had been 10 minutes already. Maybe Sorry already changed her mind about joining. No, that can't be. Sorry was really excited yesterday. But I'm getting kind of worried. Suddenly, Sorry comes bo uh, bounding? Bounding through the door. In her hand, she is holding a sheet of paper. I'm sorry, I'm late. I'm here. It's okay, welcome back. And... Sorry spins over to Monica and deposit the sheet into Monica's desk. Oh, what is this? A poem. Take my hand, take my hand, take me forward, take me to the dreamland. Caution, caution me to watch my step so I can't look back at my footsteps. Climb the stairs ahead of me while I look up to you. The more I look forward, the more I look up, the more I can lend it to you. Let's go put that up here. If I can, tr if you can trust me, I'll follow your pace. If uh, I'll trust you to set set it. If you can trust me to lend your smile, I'll trust you to return it. Take my hand, take me forward, take me to your dreamland. So there's nothing malice about this. This is basically just a poem about she wants to help her fulfill her 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 dream. Hey, this is really good. You wrote this already? Of course. Wait. Wait, no. This is the wrong side of the paper. Huh? I wasn't really gonna share the, uh, that yet. I'm so embarrassed. Monica flips over the paper. Written on the other side is a list of ideas for recruiting uh, new club members. Oh, so this is what you meant to show me. I'm curious now. Did you wrote the... Poetry, uh, do you write poetry often? Uh, I do, but uh, <laughs> I'm sure uh, I'm not anywhere near as good as you, uh, at it as you are. <laughs> really? I'm actually terrible at reading poetry. I've never written anything uh, I was happy with. Like, uh, I always uh, read it again and I always read it again a week after i uh, written or uh, write it. Uh, and I'm like, uh, Wow, this is so stupid. I don't know. It's like the dramatic vision of me doesn't agree with the person I want myself to be or something like that. Oh, You should have more confidence in yourself. You're the literature club president. Yeah, <laughs> I guess uh, you're not wrong there. I need to like uh, set a good example or what, whatever. Hmm. You know, I, I can envision the club going something like that. Doing what? You know, sharing poems we write and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. I would, I would love that. It's such a good way to learn about other people, you know. It's like uh, we have so many emotions that we can express, uh, we can't express to other people, usually. But the, but you can write it in a poem, right? Yeah. I think that's helping me form a more cohesive vision for the club. So I'm glad that you showed me. Well, even though it was by accident. Me too. I felt embarrassed at first, but now I feel kind of good that someone else read it. I'll try to show you more, uh, more of them in the future. I'll love that. Oh jeez, I'm getting distracted. Do you want to go over the this recruitment brainstorming brainstorm together? My brainstorm, <laughs> my brainstormed so hard. It was like a, a brain hurricane. Mm, love it. 
my brain is a natural disaster. That is uh, probably true. <laughs> Sorry, that's terrible. Anyways, let's look at this uh, at the list. Da -da -da. Make cupcakes. I was hungry, but it's a good idea, isn't it? Um, let me think about this. I mean, when we had the chance to give people cupcakes, you know, uh, like when they come into the club. What if we said that we have free cupcakes uh, on the flyers? I'm like, kind of worried that would bring the wrong kind of people, you know? Wrong kind? People will just come uh, for the cupcakes and then leave. Uh, nobody would do that. That would be mean. But, uh, you know, I'll find. Uh, I want to find people who is actually in into literature. Even if they don't know it yet. Let's see, uh, what's the next thing on the list? Hunt for people reading books. I don't think I get it. Like uh, going around the, f uh, the school and finding people who read reading books, you know? Like in the morning or doing lunch. And then we tell them to check out the literature club. Well, the problem with that is like, um, wouldn't most people reading, reading books just be doing for an assignment or something? How would we know if they are just reading for fun? Well, uh, we could ask them. But uh, we would be bothering people who are trying to do some schoolwork. I didn't think about that part, I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. You're coming up with a lot more things than I can. Oh, your next idea is hard to... But it's, a, it's to hand out flyers rather than put them on the wall. It def, uh, I'll definitely like to start by doing that. I'm useful! Haha, <laughs> never said you weren't. I just need to think, what could we tell people when hand, handling them out? I just want to be like, join the literature club. Let's uh, figure out what we can be better what let's figure out how we can be better engaging people what if we told them about the club activities and stuff what club activities yeah I guess it's supposed to be my job to come up with that right a vision for the club okay sorry pretend you're a normal person for a second wait I didn't mean it like that <laughs> you know uh, <clears throat> Like a random pass by, a uh, pass by, who get the f get a flyer. How would we react to the idea of a literature club? Hmm, probably like literature is stupid. I'm joining the anime club. What the heck? <laughs> ah, sorry, I was just thinking of a friend of mine. Okay. What if I said we, like, uh, do a group reading or discuss it together? It would probably be... I will probably be napping through that. <laughs> That's you, sorry. Yeah, but it doesn't really sound much fun for to most people anyways. We need really to catch their interest, you know? Um, that sucks. Why is this so hard? Monica, don't be sad. What do you like about literature, sorry? Me? Well, kind of what this, uh, what I said about the poem earlier. I think it gives you the chance to express yourself. Like, express yourself in the way you can't normally do when you're just doing your normal day and talking to your friends. I mean, we all have so many thoughts and feelings that we just don't get to share, you know? It's like, intimate. Yeah. How do we get that across to people? We could be like, uh, express your true self. Be intimate with us. Yeah, that that's kind of... Uh, <laughs> just kidding. Oh my gosh. What? What is it? I forgot all my things in my classroom. 
I must have gotten too excited and rushed here. Silly me. Rushed. But why aren't you... But... Ah, never mind. Do you want to go get your stuff then? Uh, I'll forget. I, I, I'll, I'll, I don't do it now. If I don't do it now. Uh -huh, well, I'll wait for you then. Okay, it will take a second. Sorry, Dash is out of the room, leaving Monica mon momentarily alone. Monica signed and st started, starts jutting her thoughts on the sheet of paper, expressing yourself. Be who you want to be. Make new friends. Da -da -da. Discover a new you. Discover your heart. No. Write your heart out. No. Write into your heart. Write the way into your heart. Join the literature, literature club. Write into your heart. Da -da -da. Wow, that's lame. <laughs> Monica! Uh, you startled me. Sorry. But some uh, but it's something important. On the way to a classroom, there's a girl <laughs> there was a girl reading a book. Reading a book. Let's hurry and recruit recruit her. Uh wait, um Uh are you sure she's just not doing homework? I could tell she was really into it. Um well, I guess we could take a look. Yuri. Monica grabs one of her flyers and stand up from her desk. The two departed the classroom with Saori leading the way. This way! You don't have to run. Saori leads uh, Monica over to the particular classroom, then lower her voice to whisper. See, in there. Monica peeks through the window. Sure enough, there's a girl sitting alone. Intently reading a book. I feel like a creep doing this. You should get inside and talk to her. Me? You're the president, and uh, I would probably scare, uh, be scaring her. Uh, I would probably scare her away. Uh, okay, fine, I'll do it. Monica t takes a deep breath, then timidly enters the classroom. That was fast. Oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. Why? What happened? Um, well, I entered the classroom and she didn't even look up from her book. So I kind of just left the fly on her desk and then walked out. <laughs> That's kind of cute. Da -da -da. But I'm sure she will see it and then want to join the club. I hope so. Shall I head back now? The two walk back to the classroom. Sorry, fe feeling like rather accomplished, and Monica still feeling a bit embarrassed by the encounter. Also, I can't save. Just notice that. Upon returning, Monica and Sorry resume the strategy meeting. They discussed various kind of uh, different kinds of recruitment tactics, from professional to silly. After going through Saori's list and with Monica coming up with ideas of her own, the two entered the two end, uh, the two end in a better spot than they were from the begin. Yeah, okay. Well, I would say today was a pretty uh, pretty productive, wasn't it? Well, uh, I think we are getting uh, we're starting to make progress. Yeah. I can't wait to make some new members. Hey, what's this? Sorry, Pierce, uh, at a sheet of paper that Monica was dotting on earlier. Uh, don't mind that. I was just thinking to myself. Join the literature club. Write the way into your heart. That's so cute. <laughs> I thought it was a little uh, over dramatic, but sorry. Pauses and think for a moment. You know, I don't think you're giving yourself enough credit. Huh? What do you mean? Like, I don't know. I feel, I feel like I can tell it's, uh, I can tell from talking from you today. 
It seems like you're already afraid of doing something wrong. Yeah, but uh, would you call yourself a perfectionist? Da da da. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely am. I mean, I always have an idea in my head of how I want things to go. And it's all, and it's like, uh, it, I can't accept anything less than that. But in the end, but I think in the end, it helps me try my hardest at everything. So I don't think it's a bad thing. Uh, that is bad. Like with this club, we have such an opportunity to make it into exactly how we envision it. But it feels like we only have one shot at it. But I'm just really afraid to of uh, it de deviating from that division. What's the vision? It's uh, Monica pauses to think, then shakes her head, uh, then shake her head to herself. She, she signed. I don't know. I just want everyone to. Uh, da -da -da. Monica trails off. Smiling, Zori taps her finger against the sheet of paper. Right the way into your heart. I think that's what you're trying to do. Is to make the club that you need the most. Out of everyone. Well, you're the one who, who knows yourself best, of course. But uh, I'm here to help you. Monica returns returns our smile. It's uh, sort of amazing how kind you are. I'm really gonna make this the best club ever. Hello, we are. Yeah. Sorry, nuts, and the two remain silent for a moment, lost in thought. The only sound is the steady whisper from the air conditioner. And the only moment is the afternoon sunlight or the only movement is the afternoon sunlight tickling the way in and out of the moving uh, moving, moving clouds sorry break the moment with a big yawn time to go home you tell me you're the president <laughs> in that case today's meeting is officially over i look forward uh, forward to tomorrow me too Sorry, beams and grabs her things. You can go ahead. I'll be a few minutes still. Oh, I can wait. That's all right. I just want uh, some alone time. Ah, in that case. Uh, mm, in that case. Sorry, wait. <sighs> that fucking word. Ephiastically at Monica. Good luck. Monica smiles and waves in return as Sorry spins her way out of the classroom. All alone. She signed to herself and take a minute to zone out. She wasn't prepared for the self-reflecting encouraged by Sori, but she just decided it was something she probably needed right about now. The club that I need the most. I don't get it. I just wanted it. I wanted to start a club with more passion. Something that I could used to help lead people to happiness literature is is the key to that because it's the window to a real person inside of us underneath the person who forced to always smile and blend in the person who is focused to be perfect huh monica suddenly noticed a folder on the floor by her desk. Did Sori leave this behind? I hope it doesn't have her homework in it. Worried. Monica opened the folder to check. Poems. That's a folder of poems. I need some Pepsi. Become the flower. A feeling of joy is a flower plucked from the ground. The color, the scent, it's so pretty in my hair. Every day I pluck some flowers as though they grew just for me. A, f a lifetime of peace and nourishment yanked away in an instance. All for me, all for joy. I need more. I need more joy. I need more happy. 
I need to go further down. Pluck, pluck, pluck every day. Pluck, pluck, pluck. So pretty in my hair. Pluck, pluck, pluck. You're going to die and you too. Okay. That's not good. Beneath my feet a flower stands alone. It beacons at me. I twist the stern, freeing it from the its clingy root. Caressing the final joyous moment between my fingers. But to what end? I look in every direction and the field I stand in. The properest field, its barren wasteland, the fruit of my labor, the carnage of my joy. And that is why I decided I must become the flower. Um... Uh... The thing with plucking and so on can also be uh, can be kind of bad. What the? Wait, sorry. Yeah, this is probably not a good thing. Okay. Oh, did I unlock more music? Oh, I did. Holy shit. And pictures. Oh, what is this? Finish the side story. Trust one. Oh. Okay, so I do unlock some more pictures. That That is a good thing. Oh, what is this? Ah. That is one of the pictures that I didn't get. And all the promos I still haven't gotten. So now I can take trust two. And that's also this understanding part one and part two. So, uh, yeah. There's six side stories. But, uh, isn't there something missing? Like, I don't have Natsuki. Maybe I should go and look that up. Like. And that thing. Yeah. I'll take a picture of this and then I'll probably look it up. To see if there's a way I can maybe reset that console. Okay. So. It's going to be it for now. So I'm going to go and relax a little bit. And I'll maybe return later tonight. So, uh, yeah. Take care in the meanwhile. Have fun. Take care. And, uh, yeah. See ya.